Hi, this is Mike again. In this tutorial, what I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at the new markup feature in Canvas. So just a little short story on that. Um, I've covered um, a couple of different markup tools, um, outside sources and Kami and, and things like that. Um, this is a real um, game changer because now you can do those same um, markups, um, but you can do them in Canvas. And so I think that that's um, it's a great feature that we've been waiting for and now it's finally here. So the uh, question is, is how do we go about, um, you know, just go about doing it? Um, so first, w um, before I move on, um, I've had success uploading Word documents, PDF files, uh, pictures. Um, so really I haven't found any real limit um, to what you can upload uh, to be marked up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by going plus assignment. And then I'm just gonna go test markup and I'll do that again here okay and uh, then what, what I want to do is I want to come down here uh, assign my points and take care of all the rest of the stuff I want to make sure that the submission type is on online and then I'm going to click on student annotation right here okay so um, it's unclicked at first but if you click on student annotation then it'll ask you um, you'll either have content that's already been uploaded to Canvas or then all you have to do is if you want to pull it off of your desktop is just go upload file. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick um, uh, an AP World um, assignment that's in PDF form. So I'm going to click on it, open, and up here it'll say success file uploaded. And uh, then I'll just come down here, choose a due date, and uh, then you know, just make sure that you put in all the rest of your uh, assignment parameters in there and then just save and publish. Okay, so now I have a student annotation assignment and uh, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw myself into the student view here and then what I'm gonna do is start assignment. Okay, and then the PDF um, that I chose uh, comes up and this is exactly what the kids will see. They'll have this um, markup tool right here. Okay, so then uh, what you're gonna do are, um, is you know, in order to show your kids is you could do it exactly like this where you pull up the student view. Um, the cool thing about this is that there's a number of ways to mark this up. So what I'm gonna do is just go through each one of them. One of the cool ways is this um, kind of balloon feature right here, it's point annotation. And then all you have to do, all the student has to do is just uh, click right there where they wanna make the annotation and um, then they can write in. So I'll just go like opening statement. So maybe that was one of my uh, questions that I wanted them to answer is like identify the opening statement, um, you know, and then they would just put it there and then they could go ahead and annotate any other portion of this document that they want to do. Then the next uh, one is the highlight. Um, this one would be most useful for me because I'd probably, you know, be asking the students to highlight certain sections um, based on, um, you know, based on what I want them to pull out of it. Um, so if, let's just say like this right here, um, I wanted them to annotate this um, highlight it first, then annotate it, and then they could just highlight the section. Okay. And then once the section is highlighted, then they can click the comment feature and then they can just put in this is the, and whatever it is, thesis statement, you know, whatever it is that the students, you want the students to find. Then the next thing that they can do is the free text annotation. Okay, and uh, with free text annotation is they can just write directly in anywhere on this document. Um, and that could be, you know, possibly they wanna just um, make notes for themselves uh, for later on. Um, then the next one is the strike through. Okay, and what, what they could do is they, if you want them to eliminate certain things in the document, that's kind of cool. And of course the free hand, this is a little bit cumbersome. Um, so you can change the line size and the color and then maybe you want them to like circle certain portions like that. And then the last one is the box annotation. This one's kind of cool too. They can just draw a box around it and then they can leave a comment based on that. So those are the tools on the markup. Um, and then once the student is done, they just click submit assignment. And the cool thing is, is it throws it right into the speed grader for your, um, you know, um, so you can look at it and then grade it. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me.